Hey everybody, I'm the Linux Gamer, and I'm making an arbitrary list. It's the best games for Linux that I played in 2014. Here are a few qualifications. Number one. This list will be comprised of games that were released for Linux in 2014. Games that saw a release on other platforms in previous years are eligible for this list. Number two. This should go without saying, but this is my personal opinion. If you disagree, that's awesome. Let me know in the comments or on Twitter at the Linux Gamer. Number three. The number of games released this year for Linux is staggering, and I haven't had a chance to play all of them. If I've left something out, let me know in the comments. And number four. This list will be limited to games that I've personally played. I can't very well put a game on this list if I haven't played it. And without further ado, let's get to the list. Limbo. To be fair, Limbo was released for Linux back in 2012 as part of the Humble Indie Bundle 4, as a wine-wrapped binary. However, I feel it's appropriate for this list because a proper, native release of this game was made available on Steam in June, without much fanfare. Jazz Punk Jazz Punk is a surreal and absurd comedy exploration romp. The humor is top-notch if you're into dry, Python-esque wit. It's fitting that Jazz Punk was published by Adult Swim. If you've seen anything on Late Night Cartoon Network, you've got a handle on this game. Though nothing can prepare you for some of the absurd and hilarious things you'll encounter while playing. On a side note, it's quite satisfying to me that Python-esque is in Google Chrome's dictionary. XCOM Enemy Unknown XCOM Enemy Unknown is a turn-based strategy game that I was a fan of before it came to Linux. I enjoy battling off alien forces, stemming worldwide crises as they crop up, and micromanaging technology research while also supervising the battlefield. Borderlands 2 I've talked at length about Borderlands in my previous review, so I won't waste your time. It's an awesome game and it's tons of fun, I highly recommend it. So why isn't Borderlands the pre-sequel on this list? I haven't played it. Civilization 5 Civilization is one of those epic games that has captured my imagination ever since I was a kid. I'm very glad that Civ 5 came to Linux this year, it's totally rad and I'm hoping to play Beyond Earth soon. Portal 2. I've had Portal 2 in my library for forever. When Steam for Linux came out, Portal 2 was the very first game I wanted to be ported. It took until February of this year to be released, and now it's on this list. The wit, the story, and the challenge of Portal 2 make for an unrivaled gaming experience. Sports Friends. There's something special about this collection of indie multiplayer goodness. And it's not just because Johann Sebastian Joust is a Linux and Mac exclusive. I can't gush enough about Sports Friends, and I don't want to regurgitate my previous video, so you can just mosey over there to my last review and check that out if you're interested. Shovel Knight. There are many games that have that pixel art aesthetic, but there aren't many that strictly adhere to their retro origins. Shovel Knight does. The developers made a decision that they were making an NES game, and stuck with it, limiting the on-screen color palette, hand-animating every sprite, and using proper 8-bit sound effects. That's why Shovel Knight has a special hold on me. It looks, sounds, and plays like those classic games of yesteryear with limited modern elements. It's gorgeous, the controls are tight, and the team at Yacht Club Games deserves all the praise that can be heaped upon them. Towerfall Ascension if you can't tell, I love local multiplayer. That being the case, I've been a fan of Towerfall since it came out for the Ouya. Yeah, I was an Ouya backer, and I'm not gonna knock on the system. There are a bunch of great titles when it first came out, and Towerfall Ascension was hands down the best game for the Ouya, and it's currently one of the best games available on Linux. Precise, pixel-perfect controls, beautifully animated, colorful sprites, insanely competitive multiplayer, and the ability to export replays as GIFs. Towerfall Ascension rightfully secures its top spot on this list. Well, that's my list. 
What do you think? What essential games from 2014 did I miss? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching.